Active Transport by kscience.com. Active transport is the movement of particles from a low to high concentration using a protein carrier molecule which requires energy. So it's the movement of particles from a low to high concentration and it uses a protein carrier molecule embedded in the cell membrane and it requires energy from aerobic respiration. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So here I'm drawing the protein carrier molecule embedded in the cell membrane. So it's the cell membrane, and embedded in the cell membrane is a protein carrier molecule. Protein carrier molecule. And I'm going to show you here that particles using active transport have to go against the concentration gradient from a low to high concentration. So there are two particles there and six there. One particle is going to bind the protein carrier molecule. And then what's going to happen is that the protein carrier molecule is going to change shape. So you can see here that the protein carrier molecule is going to carry the particle from a low to high concentration and energy causes the protein carrier molecule to change shape, transferring the molecule across the membrane. So then when energy is not being used, the protein carrier molecule returns to its normal shape. So it requires energy to transport the molecule from a low to high concentration. And now you can see that before there were six molecules inside the cell, now there are seven. So let's do that one more time. So the particle binds the protein carrier molecule. Step number one. Step number two is that the energy causes the protein carrier molecule to change shape and transport the particle across the membrane. Step number three. Active transport has now transported the particle from a low to high concentration. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So in a root hair cell, there are mineral ions that need to be absorbed from the soil as well as water that needs to be absorbed. So mineral ions are absorbed by active transport, whereas water is absorbed by osmosis. So with water, you must always identify where the high concentration is, as shown here, and where the low concentration is. So water is going to osmose from a high to low concentration by osmosis into the root. As compared to mineral ions, where they are in lower concentration in the soil and higher concentration in the root hair cell. So the mineral ions are going to be transported by a protein carrier molecule across the cell membrane. So it requires energy to transport the molecule from a low to high concentration. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.